Hey everybody, today we're back again with the TTO 2T Sand Shaker build. And as you can see, it's decal day. We're gonna finish up this build with applying the decals and we're completely done. All we have to do is cut these decals out and put them on. And my biggest tip for doing decals on any build is to take your time. Ideally, you would paint the body all the way along while you're building the kit leaving a little bit of time uh, each day to paint one color or do some masking and not try to do everything in one day. As soon as you try to do everything in one day, you're just not going to have the patience to do it properly and make it look really nice. So this kit comes with instructions on where the decals will go and they suggest you apply the numbers in order. First one's right here, second one is the one in the window etc etc i've already put on the the rings and i also painted i told you in the last video that i painted these instead of using the decals which i know is going to fall off when i take this out the decals are printed in sequence on the sheet here so number one here number two is here three four etc etc so it's easy to find and we can get through this pretty quick As you just saw there, I used both the scissors and the hobby knife to get some of these pieces off. Use whatever you're comfortable with. If you're good with the hobby knife and you think you can cut the curves, go ahead and use that. I prefer using scissors. I think it's a little bit faster, a little bit more accurate for me. So all you're doing when you apply a decal, and this particular decal goes right here in the front bumper here is make sure this is cleaned off and there's no grease or dirt on there. Go ahead and wipe that off. And I'm going to peel this sticker, put a knife behind it. And we're just going to center this, put it down. And I'm just going to flatten out with my finger. And there we go. Easy. All right, I'm about halfway done. These curved pieces are a little bit tricky on the long side of the body. They're kind of big and unwieldy, so it took quite a bit of effort. I think I got it on there. I'm going to continue. Hopefully finish up in the next shot. Hey, I'm done with the decals. It did come out looking great. There's a couple of tips I could share with you, which is these two large ones right here, where this one wraps around the fender and the hood, and this larger one here on the front panel. Cut it a little bit more liberally instead of cutting through the detail. Um, otherwise, it would be pretty hard to handle um, with these sharp corners and very thin pieces. I would just leave it, and I personally, I just cut it straight across and made it one solid piece. It's a little bit harder to place. I couldn't get it perfectly. It's such a large piece where you have to kind of place it here and also stretch it over here and have it line up properly. It wasn't um, something I could do on the first try, so I ended up uh, missing the spot here on both sides. You do have to be a little bit careful, um, but I love the way it looks. I love the way it turned out. Uh, the painted green wheels match this perfectly. So with all that said, Really happy I put this together. In the next video, I'm going to give my build review and also compare what how this is different from the standard TTO2. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.